Hello, uh, my name's Tori Droppa, and this is my testimony. I mean, I had a pretty basic childhood, you know, grew up in the church, that sort of a thing, but I was always a really anxious kid, and my perception of God was very much, like I had to be good enough to have a relationship with him, because he must be like this super like holy, angry being up in the sky, kind of just like waiting for people to mess up, to punish them. And because of that, most of my childhood was spent trying to be like this perfect, good Christian girl, just like almost earn your way to heaven type of mentality. Got to high school, went through some really challenging things that left me really angry with God and kind of started this questioning of like, maybe all these things I've been told my whole life aren't really true. It was in high school that I first started to recognize that I was attracted to girls which was terrifying at the time because because of my perception of God as being like this angry being just waiting to like punish people for sinning and this had always been presented as like the sin of all sins you know what I'm talking about it was really hard so my reaction to it was to just like shove it somewhere deep down inside of me pretend like I didn't have these feelings pretend like I didn't have any questions about God and just go back to being like the good Christian girl you know Kept doing that until probably about my senior year of college. I, I don't know, I think the weight of just trying to be good enough all the time kind of caught up with me. I came to the realization that I didn't really believe in God anymore. I didn't think all the things I had been told while I was growing up were true. Decided to start exploring my sexuality. Pretty much tried to find fulfillment, peace, joy, whatever you want to say, anywhere but God. My mental health was trash. I was anxious, depressed. Uh, it started turning into pretty consistent thoughts of suicide. Uh, just really in a dark, dark place in my life. It was in this place that uh, the pandemic happened. So everyone, you know, had to move home. The world shut down. Some friends of mine decided we should all go to young adults here at church together. So I went along with them. So I wanted to see people, you know, just hang out. And I remember one of the nights, Austin ended his message with a gospel presentation, and I truly started to feel the Holy Spirit just like tugging at my heart that night, you know? Because the entire drive home, my chest was just like pounding. And I remember thinking to myself, if there is a God, I think I felt him tonight. And that just like kind of sparked an interest in learning more. I was really intrigued. The gospel was starting to make sense to me. Went home, spent more time just really, really digging into the Bible and trying to understand what it says, why is it true, and who is God. I remember I was in my room one night, just on the floor, begging God if he was real to help me understand because I didn't understand. And it was, man, I can only describe it as like scales falling off my eyes. It was like I was blind and then I could see, like all of a sudden, this, like, I understood the gospel, right? Like, Christ had come to earth, had lived a perfect life, died on a cross to save me from my sins, and I couldn't do that. I would never be good enough. It was just, like, pure joy in an instant, you know? To have this, like, deep sense that I was loved by God and this freedom, knowing that He had died on a cross to save me because He wanted a relationship with me, it was beautiful. It was truly like a 180. Like something just clicked inside of me and I was like, I need to serve Jesus. Like I wanna give him my life and give him my all and everything. So I just got super involved in church, just serving in any ministry that would take me. I started working at the cafe because I just wanted to be here all the time. And it was really cool because I saw the church posted a job opening for a graphic design position, which was my major when I was in college. So I start the application process and I ended up getting the job and I think this is so cool. Like it just points to the Lord's faithfulness, right? Because he put this desire on my heart. I got saved in September of 2020, and I started my job here in September of 2022. So it was almost exactly down to like the anniversary of my salvation date. And I don't know, it just points to the Lord and how involved he is in our lives and how loving he is.